Even though agriculture is the engine driving many African economies, it is not considered glamorous. It suffers from entrenched negative perceptions. In the minds of many African youths, a farmer is someone doing back-breaking labor in the fields and getting little to show for it. The Agricultural Research Council is actively addressing this misconception. We currently have uh, 300 uh, students at the postgraduate level under an initiative that we call the PDP program, Postgraduate Development Program, where we bring a lot of these particular students to use ARC research projects as part and parcel of their projects for their studies uh, towards uh, obtaining their master's and PhD degrees. I am Tito Matioloko, I'm a PDP student at the ARC. I am studying towards a PhD. I'm working on sunflower genomics. I'm specifically looking at the transcriptomics of seed development in sunflower. So in my research, we are hoping to be able to help farmers increase their oil yield in the seeds. My focus area has been in agricultural productivity. We mainly look at the productivity of the agricultural innovations that the organization has actually invented. World-class technology, counter seasonality to most first world countries, abundant biodiversity and natural resources and competitive input costs can make a country like South Africa a major agricultural player on the world's markets. We have a critical role to play in partnership with universities and together we come up with joint projects and we put students in the middle. So the student is an employee of the ARC by virtue of the fellowship of bursary that they get and, uh, and they are registered with the institution of higher learning for a master's, PhD or postdoctoral fellowship. Unknown to many young people, agriculture abounds with opportunities in virtually every conceivable discipline, from crop and animal production and resource management to mechanization and engineering, and from agro-processing and food technology to agricultural economics and commercialization, to name but a few. We have to design something for five cows. You're going to use a milking machine on that? Yeah, they're going to use a milk machine. What I like is assistance from our senior researchers. If we're challenged in a certain project, they're available to rescue us, they're available to, to direct us in, as to a, a way forward in our project. I'm one of the people who really enjoy a challenge way. I have to find a way out of something. The, the institute gives me that opportunity to find my way on, on everything and you need to, it also gives me a ground of saying my work is my work and I need to be responsible for it. The ARC's technology transfer program ensures that research and development outputs benefits all South Africans, particularly the farming community. This promotes conservation of natural resources and helps to alleviate poverty. In our programs that we have with smallholder farmers and communities, we are um, focused on developing young people and also exciting them about agriculture. By facilitating platforms to share information about the attractive career options in agriculture, more young people are being exposed to these opportunities. The determination and the, and the, the dedication that I've seen from, from these farmers. And then that's what I think uh, we, we're going to, to take back to our community, teach them what we've seen here, run with this and see how far we can go, can go with it. I'm in the economic analysis unit. Um, we conduct agricultural economic research for the ARC. Um, what the unit does is to quantify and evaluate 
um, the research output of the ARC to see how it has benefited society and what improvements have there been as a result of ARC research. Our country is moving towards what is called knowledge economy. And without science, there is no knowledge. So this is a laser capture micro dissection microscope from Zeiss. It's a palm four. We use this specifically for targeted um, dissections of samples. For example, if you want single cell analysis of apical meristems in plants or from specific cells in tick salivary glands, you can use this device to cut those out, shoot them out with light, capture them, and then do subsequent analysis on them on our sequencing platform. You, you get to get different experiences. You, you work in the office, you have office work where you do your reports, you do the engineering aspects, and then you have field work where you interact with farmers and other communities besides farmers. And you also get to work with different people on different projects. You end up working with animal scientists, agroclimatologists, and yes, there's, there's so many opportunities. New technologies are now available that can help mitigate the effects of climate change and grow more food with less inputs. In the past, a lack of information and skills meant that farmers were unable to access these new innovations. We have a more balanced South African graduate who doesn't only have a theoretical thesis or degree, but they have an, a, a mix of good theory balanced with an applied component. Mushima wa ngapa no ARC, Mushima is a research technician. Wone na bandiko collector data, he has medicinal plants. The reason why no ngapa no, ringa rindo ita botany and zoology. Ndo ita degree anga univen, ya botany and zoology. From there, nda ya teflop, I did my BSc honors ka botany. Then from there, I was in ARC, and then I was in an opportunity to learn a bazaari. I was in a studies changar, in medicinal plants. That's why right now I was in a master's in Moringa. It, it avails the students an opportunity for them to learn about different careers in the ARC and gain real life experience uh, and exposure so that when it's time for them to get jobs, uh, they've interacted with clients, we also know what they can do and we can recruit them ourselves as the ARC, but also the clients in the agriculture sector can give them job opportunities and, uh, and, and employ them. A bright young generation is now introducing exciting new technologies while also learning from traditional methods holding the potential to offer the perfect fusion of effective solutions to some of the world's biggest challenges. So, do you still think agriculture is not cool?